Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you top five tips on how to build the most realistic Minecraft city you will ever build in your entire life. I am going to be doing a different series on different things for Minecraft city. The first episode being this one, the second episode being Minecraft roads and etc, etc, etc. If you don't know, guys, I do have over 10 years experience building on Minecraft and over five years experience building cities on Minecraft. I've been building cities for as long as I can remember on Minecraft. It's my main go-to and my hyper focus on Minecraft. I don't like playing survival. Minecraft cities is the only thing that I mainly like to build. I've built many of different kind of cities on Minecraft from normal cities to realistic cities, cartoon cities. I've even built my old high school. I've built my local football stadium. I built so much on Minecraft that I feel like that you guys could gain a lot from my videos. Let's get into this. Okay guys, to create the best world on Minecraft, obviously you have to start with a world. So let's create a new world. Create new world. Let's name this world. We're just going to name it City. Then we're going to go in and change it from Survival to Creative. Click Continue. Take off. Well, you can keep the difficulty wherever you want to keep it. You can change the starter map. Click on world type. Now this one is important. If you want terrains and you want mountains and seas and oceans and all this kind of stuff and you do not want a flat plain canvas, then click on infinite. If you want a nice plain flat canvas like I personally like using and I personally recommend because you can do whatever you want. You don't have the mountains in the way. You don't have to delete a load of stuff. You don't have different terrains going on. You can literally build it all yourself. You can build mountains. I'll show you how to do that in the future. There is so much you can do with a flat world. So if you do want an infinite world and you want mountains, keep it as infinite. If you want it as flat, then change it to flat, which I personally recommend. Seed, you don't have to have the seed. Simulation chucks, then keep that distance. You can keep that the same. All this the same. You can change these if you want it. If you are having people inside your world, then turn these off just for the safety of anyone coming in and destroying your world. These as well, you can keep these off. There is nothing in here that you really want to that you really want to keep on unless you want to you can try these things but for now i like to keep them all off Act activation cheat then keep that on if you do want to use some like world edit and stuff like that which i again personally recommend one because it's a lot quicker in the long run when it comes to roads and stuff like that two you can just experiment with different copy and pasting of buildings and all this kind of stuff so personally i'd keep it on but again it's totally up to you Always day, keep that on just for the just so it's easier for you. Uh, mob spawning, keep it off. Mob griefing off. Um, dro drop loot, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna turn it off. Weather cycle, turn this off. This one is a big one. Once your city's up and running, you can turn it back on, but for the time being, while you're building, turn it off because once it starts raining, it just I I personally turn it off. It irritates me once it starts raining. Again, totally up to you, but I personally turn it off. Command blocks enabled, guys. I like to keep this one in enabled and random tick speed i don't even know what that is so we're just going to keep that as one <laughs> multiplayer if you want to play multiplayer play multiplayer i don't like playing multiplayer for cities unless i've got someone i trust in building with me i've had many experiences where people have came into my world that are on my friends list and i have no idea who they are but they've joined my world and decided to blow it up or put lava all over the place and it, it just gets annoying so i like to keep that off resource pack I use the city texture pack again it's totally up to you if you have a resource pack or a texture pack that you want to use then go ahead and turn it on if you don't then keep it off you can just use the normal if you don't have a texture pack you can use the normal world but I do highly recommend that the city texture pack it gives a lot more realistic and city feeling in it so I like to keep that on behavioral packs I don't have a behavioral pack and I've never used one so I like to keep them off and then go ahead and create your world and that is your world created guys now you're gonna enjoy your city i'm joking this is that was the most important step is to make sure you have a nice world now on the old minecraft when minecraft first came about and a couple of years ago when i first started building cities there was a option to be able to change what your floor is made out of and that option has currently been taken away because of the new minecraft and it it sucks because it was so much easier and a lot better guys so tip number two guys is build up 
Now, the reason why I give this tip is because if, if you do want a bit of an underground city, oh, for me example, I'm going to be building an underground train station in this map and a bit of sewers and stuff like that, then build up. Because unfortunately, in this Minecraft, you cannot customize your world. I'll explain a little bit more about that now. But you cannot build under bedrock, and it sucks. It really does suck. So you can build up as far as you possibly want in Minecraft. Now, I've built all the way up there, just for an example, and you're not going to need a building that high. Like, come on, like, realistically, if a building is that high, then you are building some crazy buildings. So, I like to go, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say ten blocks high until we have the first bit because we've still got these four blocks as well because we've got bedrock as well so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten saying that mm, ten eleven let's say eleven blocks high this gives me enough for an underground platform so for example let's play let's place some stone bricks right here this would be my pavement Okay, this would be where my pavement is. So 11 blocks high would be where my pavement is. Now, you don't have to do this. You can just start off here and just have your pavement right here if you wanted to, guys. And go ahead and do that if you want. If you don't want an underground bit of your city, then go ahead and do that. Yes, it's a lot easier because you're not all the way up here in the sky having to build and all this kind of stuff. But I like to do it. You've got room to go downhill as well if you want to add some levelage to your actual world. So if you want some roads that's going down and some, want some roads just going up you've got the opportunity to do that as well so it's not just all flat you know cities in general in real life unless you live in a really flat city then most cities aren't flat most cities have got some you know steep roads and some hillsides and stuff like that so having your floor all the way down here and then your road next to it let's just build a quick road for an example if you're gonna have your road all the way down here you've only got room to go up you haven't got room to go down so if you have your road up here then you've got room to go down and you've also got room to build something underneath you guys so have have at, le at least 10 to 11 layers up you've got room underneath and you've got plenty and plenty and plenty of room above you guys so tip number three is use the appropriate block. What I mean by that is do not use blocks that you think are going to look good. Try them out and see if they look good first. So, for example, I've seen a lot of cities where bedrock is the, is the road because it's black. Now, you have a load of other opportunities to use black bricks. You've got concrete. You've got grey concrete. You've even got... I used to use wool. This was my go-to in the beginning was grey wool. Now, again, I'd still use grey wool if it wasn't for the concrete. So, this is what the grey wool looks like and that is what the concrete looks like. Now, I personally, I reckon concrete looks a lot better than roads th than for roads these days. But now and again, I will mix it up and use some grey wool as well. So, use the correct blocks, guys. Do not use blocks that you think are just going to look good. Trial and error with them. See what they look like first. For side wall and paving slants I used I like to use smooth stone slabs they gave a nice even texture they gave a nice smooth texture something you would see because when you're walking down the road you know some road some roads yes you see them like this and you see you see other ones what I used to use this one hell of a lot when I was building cities before which was just normal cobblestone and again yes you see you see roads like that but most of the time when you're walking down the road and you're walking down the pavement it's just one single block so i like to use the smooth one it gives a nice nice texture to it and it gives a nice overall look to it so just mess around with your different blocks find out what block you like the best for certain things again you don't have you don't have to copy what i use you can go ahead and use what you personal personally reckon if you're building a cartoon looking town if you're building a medieval town if you're building a city modern city old city it all depends on what you're looking go on google have a look at what's around go outside and have a look what's around and have a look and see what other people are using and then go ahead and choose what you'd rather use there are so many different bricks on minecraft now that there were when i first started playing minecraft you have so many options to use different bricks and different things and just try and mix them to make them look as realistic as possible so tip number four guys is to level your layout now we spoke about the roads we spoke about the height on your road and stuff like that but one thing i didn't speak about was the leverage of your world in general so for example this sidewalk right here if it was just this sidewalk and it was just one level like this yeah it looks cool 
but it's it's not leveled you know you just walk straight into the road and you've not got anything breaking it up add some smooth stand slab on top of your pavement that's what the slab is there for the slab is there to level things and make things look out of level and balance slab stone gets a little bit awkward to use if you're new to minecraft but it does everything it does the difference big time and it makes a huge difference also level different things out so you know you can just add say let's have add another quick layer by here off road um just to make it look like a highway and to make it look as normal well as like a normal road as possible okay so say this is this is our road right here this is really really a really rough rough this is really bad and a rough outlay guys so please just bear with me right now this is not how a city should look um so for example we have a highway okay imagine this is 10 blocks each side and there's a huge highway going on right here and in the middle right here you have a single carriage that isn't going anywhere or doing anything and it's to break the roads up because you've got one lane here you've got another lane here then you've got an, a spare line here and then you've got another lane block and then another lane so you want to have at least four lanes um obviously more on certain roads but to block it up in the middle don't just don't just put like a straight a straight line right here because if you drive down a highway you don't have a straight line down the middle blocking it you have leverage a city has leverage add in slab add in anything just level it out a little bit make make different levels guys i know i'm saying leveling it out but then make different levels just make different levels make different heights you do not walk through a city and it's all simply flat and one level you have different levels and different sides unless your city is completely flat and i mean everything is on the same level including your buildings level it out make it as realistic as possible and level it out Okay guys, so the last and final tip I have for you guys is plan ahead. And what I mean by this is plan your city. Now do not go and draw a plan down on a piece of paper. You can do that if you want, but I've done that many times in the past. I've never found success out of it. I've never found a way to actually do it like I've tried it. I've tried so many different ways to plan a city and it's never come ahead. But what I mean by this is to plan it on Minecraft. So I like to start off right in the middle of a map so get a nice fresh map and go right to the middle so go over here then go over here now I've started building this right here earlier on but start around somewhere like this now my main when I ever start a city my main thing I do is build a highway I like that to be the first part I've got different terrains going on I've got a different area going on I can plan it out a little bit better and I like to know what area is what so I like to go straight up straight up here and straight down guys so I don't like going this way or that way I literally like going straight up with the highway and straight for the middle so straight from the middle of the map we've got the highway so for example I'm just gonna build a huge black line just to show you guys what I mean and again you do not have to copy this you can go whichever way you want you do not you don't even have to build the highway first I find this the best way to do it and the best thing to start off with there's my huge black line now that will be the highway it'll go straight down the other side as well so it'll just be running straight through this map and the highway as soon as I open this map the first thing I see is the highway and that's the first thing I like to do then I like to add on little bits and start building the city and start figuring it out because this side maybe I'll have the waterfront and maybe I'll have the beach this side and the harbour and stuff like that then maybe further on down here I'll have the house terrain but it's not 100% and I've not got anything down to prove that it's 100%. I can just plan it out in my head. But as long as I've got that main highway in the middle, I can build whichever way I want and I can build whatever I want. I don't even have to build a city at the beginning. You know, the city is going to fill all this side in right here. But that highway is built and that highway is the main thing we want to do because I know where people, where things are going, which way things are going and what things are doing. Because if we start building a city, then we figure out, okay, actually we need a little bit of a harbour side. Where's that going to go? Wait, we also need a highway. Where's that going to go? If we've got something in place to divide the different sections, we've got the first thing done. So highway is the first thing I like to do and that's when you can start planning and start building. 
Another top tip you can also do guys is use Google Maps. Google Maps gives you the opportunity to do 3D views. There's loads of other things that you can fly around the buildings and look at the distant structures. So if you use Google Maps you can get a perfect view of each building and start building them exactly how they are in real life. I use that to build many of my buildings including the stadiums, the schools that I've built. There has been so many times that I've used Google Maps to get me through a build and it gives you so much inspiration. You can fly around so many different cities. I'm pretty sure in London you can even drone around the city in London on Google Maps. So use Google Maps to your advantage guys and get some inspiration.